having seen all the movies, read all the books, it was so surreal to walk onto these sets. We get a peek into Hogwarts, some exciting and familiar locations. There's so many Easter eggs to find. It's this real magical cinematic experience. It takes my breath away. Every single detail, every bit of brickwork, it's just spectacular. I enjoy going back to Hogwarts. You know, we haven't been there in a while. And I obviously have such fond memories of my many years inhabiting that building, that world. I've had the privilege of working with Stuart Craig, the greatest designer for 20 years. The breadth of his work is remarkable, from Elephant Man to Dangerous Liaison to Harry Potter and now Fantastic Beasts. He thinks big and expressively. He's an extraordinary, gifted world builder and it's been a privilege to make eight films with him and he's made them all look fabulous. What was wonderful on this film and also I think made Stuart smile was calling upon those sets that we built and he designed many years ago. Hogwarts is a place that Dumbledore feels most at home. It's his sanctuary from the world. For a few of the characters, it's the first time they've ever been to Hogwarts. And for a few others, it's a return to their old school. Can you believe this place? They've got pine sides, little witches and wizards running around here. You know what I'm saying? Being able to shoot in the Great Hall is very special. And there were loads of kids there, and it felt very Harry Pottery. Swarms of Hogwarts students with the different scarves and the and with the you know the cloaks and everything. It was suddenly like real life had melded with the Wizarding World reality, and it was so it was just so surreal. The touchstone for seeing something like the Great Hall is how we saw it in Harry Potter. We're using scans we did actually for the last film of the Great Hall that's in the Harry Potter tour here in London, and we're using that to digitally recreate the whole room. What is this place? The room we require. We've done the room of requirement. We've built it as what they call a proxy set. So its tones are all correct, but visual effects are actually adding in post the texture to it. So they're putting on the stone texture and the ribs and things like that. The only thing that's real in the set really is actually the floor that the actors stand on. And the idea really there is it's not CG for CG's sake. We're not in these bases for very long, so it doesn't really make sense to build a massive set physically for one scene. By the way, we'll be dining with my brother. Should you need anything before then, Minerva is here. Dumbledore has a brother? Assigned to Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, influential places in the Harry Potter world. This is my first moment to Hog Hogsmeade. At the, the first time I've been to Hogsmeade to is in the, in the Universal Studios You've one. You've got Hog Hogwarts yeah, to come. Yeah, got Hogwarts to come. It's been great to go back to anything to do with Hogsmeade. We've built the interior of the Hogsmeade pub, and we've built it better. All the very best sets, when you step onto them, you can leave your imagination at the door. It's like it's there. It's a gift to have a set like that. It was literally like stepping into exactly how I'd imagined the Hogshead to be. The first time I walked into the Hogshead, I was like, holy crap, we are at the Hogshead. It was like a sort of battered, beautiful old pub in Derbyshire, and Callum liked it and wanted to actually get a drink and settle in for the evening. I really wanted to just grab a drink and go and sit down by the fire. <laughs> it was so authentic always feel a great mantle of responsibility to the fans. So obviously I do take a lot of care to preserve the spirit of what's been done before, but we're much earlier, so there's the artistic license there. We're thinking, oh, how would a butterbeer or a wanted poster be 50 years before, but still be true to that language so that the audience recognise certain elements it's astonishing to see it in the 30s. And luckily for me, I get to go there, which is fabulous. I'm going to need someone to cover my morning classes. 
you just can't quite believe it, but everybody around you is as excited as you are because it's been in so many people's lives for so long. It's woven into their existences. There's a feeling, I guess, of coming home. And there are so many memories when you walk around that magical, extraordinary place. Hogwarts has a tireless imagination and an originality. Wouldn't we all like to be a part of such a wondrous world?